He says here in Romans chapter 8, verse 9, and you'd have to go back and read the whole chapter, <clears throat> but in verse 9 it says, But you are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit, if so be that the Spirit of God dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. That's pretty blunt, pretty straightforward, okay? He says, if you're not in the flesh, but in the Spirit, if the Spirit of God dwells in you, and you either is or you ain't, okay? You're either born again or you're not born again. There's not a, you know, one foot in and one foot out. <clears throat> he says here, verse 10, and if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the Spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the Spirit of him, so now we're talking about the Spirit again, if the Spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, that's the Spirit, if you're born again and you have his spirit, his spirit dwells in you, and that's the spirit that raised Jesus from the dead. And he says, if that spirit dwell in you, then he, that same spirit that raised, raised up Christ from the dead, shall also quicken or make alive your mortal bodies by his spirit. Now notice what the spirit does. He quickens your body. That's another aspect of work that the spirit does in a believer. He actually quickens your mortal body, right? And we know that our outward man perished and all that, but that we are renewed day by day in the inner man, right? Amen. Well, okay, your outer body may be perishing, but it does not mean that it can't be quickened and healed and made alive in any situation. Does that make sense? Now, he goes on and he says uh, that he will, notice he will do this by his spirit that dwells in you. Now, this, I, I try to emphasize this all the time, that the number one way that God wants to deal with you is by his spirit that dwells in you. He really doesn't want to have to use another uh, mediator or a go-between or, or an intercessor or anybody else like that. He doesn't really want to have to lay hands, have someone else lay hands on you. He wants you to realize his spirit that made Jesus alive out of the grave can fix whatever's going on in you. Amen? Amen. <clears throat> but <clears throat> it seems to be kind of hard sometimes because we have been so trained to think, go to church and let the preacher pray for you, that we don't think in terms of we need to learn what the Holy Spirit can and does and wants to do in us. Amen. Right? So that by the time we get to church, we got a testimony Amen. and not just a test. Amen. 